Welcome back to the Mario Wing of the Hall of Origins. Today we are going to take a look at another one of the female protagonists of the Super Mario Brothers series. So in the world of Mario, when you hear the word princess, I think the majority will immediately think of the Mushroom Kingdom ruler who gets kidnapped every other Thursday. I mean, how could you not? It's literally what the series is designed around. But there is another princess who exists who actually has a growing fan base that, one day, perhaps, could rival Princess Peach herself. And that character is Princess Daisy. So back in the 80s, the Nintendo Entertainment System was doing gangbusters. It seemed like every home in America had one. It single-handedly brought video games back from the brink of death after the crash of 83. And most of that is credited to Nintendo's flagship franchise, Super Mario Bros. I mean, I don't need to hammer home how great this game is and how it jump-started Mario's career from fighting a giant ape to rescuing an entire kingdom. Everyone loved this game. So much, in fact, that a few years later in 1989, when the Nintendo handheld device, the Game Boy, came out, fans just expected that there would be a new Mario game exclusively released to it. And they weren't wrong. Super Mario Land came out on the black and green Wonder Brick. And it was a pretty solid adventure. In this game, Mario travels away from the Mushroom Kingdom to the desert world of Sarasaland. This is where Mario fans met for the first time, Princess Daisy. In this story, the evil alien Tatanga is trying to take over Daisy's kingdom, and because Mario don't stand for that, he shows up and does what he does. Princess Daisy is saved and everyone is happy. So Princess Daisy was named after a flower because her home of Sarasaland is named after a floral print pattern and the designers wanted to give her name something that matched it. There was a tiny bit of confusion in the Mario Land instruction manual that lists Daisy as Daisy Princess, which could have led fans to conclude that Daisy might be a princess of flowers, but this is a mistaken translation, where in Japanese they put her name in front of her title. So after her Game Boy Adventure, Daisy popped up the same year in NES Open Tournament Golf. In this game, she serves as Luigi's caddy, while Peach is with Mario. This is the first of many times that Daisy would be paired with Luigi, starting the notion of the two being romantically involved. Unfortunately for Daisy, after this appearance, she wouldn't be seen for many years. In video games, that is. Enter Super Mario Bros. The Movie! Oh yeah, we're going to talk about it. But one of the decisions that always stands out about this movie was why was Princess Daisy included in the story and not Princess Peach? And truthfully, I couldn't find any reason for it anywhere online. But I have a theory. Okay, so imagine you're a script writer tasked to write the Mario Brothers movie, right? You look at the cast of characters and are like, wait, the princess is named Toadstool? Because remember, she wasn't called Peach in America until later. But then you're like, Wait a minute, there was another princess and her name was Daisy. That name sounds normal compared to Toadstool. Let's put her in the movie instead. Now I can't confirm that's what happened, but I can't not confirm it either. So back in the video game world, Princess Daisy finally made her comeback in 2000 for the Nintendo 64 game Mario Tennis. Now why did it take that long? Well, have you ever played Mario Golf? Yeah, this came out a year before Mario Tennis and featured some well, forgettable characters like Sunny, Plum, Charlie, Harry, and Maple. These were just generic people. So I'm guessing Nintendo wanted to find some better characters for their next sports outing. Which led the developers to want to create a new character, an evil version of Peach called Wallapeachy. I'm not kidding on that. <laughs> When Shigeru Miyamoto rejected the new character idea, it was then decided to reach back into the Mario history canon and revive the Princess of Sarasaland. So once graphics improved on the GameCube, we saw a more distinct and refined Daisy design. Her hair was now cut to end at her shoulders, and her face was given a more rounded shape. Whereas before, aside from her colors, she didn't look that different from Peach. Now you could clearly tell the two princesses apart. I always thought that they should have given her darker skin though. I mean, she lives in the desert after all. Do you know what that much sun exposure will do to your skin? Eh, maybe she stays inside most of the time. Daisy's got quite the interesting personality. One would think that her being a princess that she would be similar to Peach, but she's actually quite the opposite. She can be sassy and energetic, and she most certainly is competitive, as it is established in Mario Strikers that she does not like to lose. In fact, I would be pretty scared to be on her team. And then there's Luigi. 
Now, of course, Nintendo being Nintendo, they can't just come out and say that Daisy and Luigi are a couple. It has to be hinted at in various games. One of the most telling moments is in Mario Power Tennis, when she refers to Luigi as Sweetie. Hey, Sweetie! Yeah, oh, 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 Thank you! Another moment is in Daisy's course in Mario Kart Wii, which features a huge golden statue of the two together. However, this does bring up something else. Yeah, I'm talking about that heart right there. Is there anything going on between Mario and Daisy? Well, according to Nintendo, they are just good friends. I mean, who am I to judge? I guess you can have a heart flying up from your head when Daisy gets close enough to symbolize a kiss, but maybe that's not what happened. Maybe she just got close to Mario and he's like, Oh, heart, it's my friend. Heck, Mario has bad luck in this department with how he's turned down by Peach and she steals his spaceship. And you know what? What if he couldn't make that jump? Peach is putting a lot of faith in that Mario will be able to do that. She's like, Oh Mario, I'm stealing your ship and Mega Man Legends 2 you on the moon. Honestly Mario, I think you should go back to Pauline. But with that being said, I still like Princess Daisy as a character. She's so much more flushed out than Princess Peach, and hopefully someday, we'll be even given a game of her own.